Hi everyone! I wanted to post an update on a video I posted two months ago regarding um, whether a, a branch grafted with a seedling of two different variety of a dragon fruit will, will work if you keep it indoors. Um, so that was about two months ago, I believe around January, because it's been raining around a lot around here lately. Um, I couldn't uh, grow my dragon fruit outside because of the cold temperatures and also the rainy season, um, putting it at risk for root rotting. So I decided to do an experiment of growing my graph indoor to see if it would work. First, I experimented whether a branch would grow indoors, which um, as you can see, this one, I, I started also about two months ago. I did another video on, another, on a different one, but this one, I dated it from January 14, and it's just been indoors. I put it on top of an air fryer or sometimes just um, by the windowsill where it can get some sun and it's been growing and it's been growing pretty healthily inside I I would I think but not 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 very I guess um, because you know it only has water it doesn't it lacks that nutrients from the soil so the growth has been pretty skinny so I think I will need to put this in soil very soon but I wanted to provide this update so first I did I wanted to make sure or I wanted to see if a uh, dragon fruit branch would grow in water indoors just by a heating with a heating source such as an air fryer and access to a sunlight like a windowsill and it did so as you can see very successful this have not been outside and it eventually after a couple months started growing which i think um, kind of is skinny due to um, lack of some nutrients necessary that they normally obtain from soil so this one will need to be planted very soon so i did that and then i want and then i did another experiment um, by grafting a seedling to see if it would take the graft. And, and as you can see, if you can try to zoom right there, oh, right there, there is growth. Okay, let me see. There is growth right there. So that's what I wanted to um, highlight the update. So as a recap, this branch was... A, a branch from a, a cutting, a red dragon fruit cutting, grown in, indoors in water. And um, I think it's been here for about three months now because first it had to grow roots and then I, I went one step forward, I took it another step forward by, by attaching a seedling to it, which is a yellow dragon fruit seedling, this little seedling on top and um i had no idea wh whether this will work and as you can see it is very successful i will need to plant this in soil very soon so that it can continue to grow stronger um so yeah so just wanted to show you that you can graph first you can grow your branches in water indoors and yes you can graph indoors it might just be very slowly, but it, you know, if it's raining outside anyway and the temperature is too cold and you can't do anything outside anyway, growing indoors is, is not bad. You will have some growth and eventually when spring and summer comes, you can go ahead and plant it in soil. So if you don't want to waste time and get it started for the spring, you, this is a good option to grow it inside. Um, sorry for the late update. I've I had to do a lot of, we had to do some house renovations, so I didn't have time to update my plants, but I just kept my plants happy by the window um, and in water, still changing the water every couple of days to prevent rotting and molding. And that's it. I, I really, these are very low maintenance growth and 
they both grow very successfully. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, an update of the other one that I had planted. I'm sorry, I had rooted indoors and I have planted outside in a pot and show you the progress on that one. Um, so, um, just wanted to show you uh, the updates on these and hopefully you got, if you learned something and you don't have um, time to plant outside or whatever reason, factors, um, discouraging you to grow your your dragon fruit branches or grafting you can do it indoors and and with very little effort um, if you enjoyed this video please like sh like share and subscribe and um, I'll go ahead and post another video regarding um, an update on the uh, on another branch that I had started on my other video that was rooted indoors and is now growing um, healthily outside. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.